Right, okay, so I've shown you the basics of it, the gears. That took a lot of bodging because I didn't have the right kind of sprocket, so I had to use a rear sort of bike sprocket from an old electric bike I had. But then the, the tooth chain wasn't the right size. I thought, yeah, I've cracked it, I've got this bodged on. It's got a keyway of sorts cut inside there. And basically, we've got a bolt around this side. You can see it just there. It's a, uh, sorry, it's not focusing very well. It's a titanium bolt from a, a set of handlebars. So that with the high strength Jubilee clips actually holding that on there. But then I had to weld a Shimano gear sprocket <clears throat> off a back wheel. That's the largest one off a back wheel. Okay, so it's not off the front crank, so to speak. Uh, this, because uh, this was a back uh, rear wheel, uh, it says 36 volt there next to the 26. I don't know if you can see it. But what I've basically done, I've got this on the highest one. So if that's going from approximately 25 teeth to 11 or 13, I think. So that's almost a 2 to 1 ratio. So what I'm trying to achieve with this is to take the speed out of the blades and put it in here to generate electricity. So that's the plan. So yeah, a <coughs> quick mention about the tower. Now this was a quick bodge that I did a long time ago before I knew how to weld, but it, it stuck tight. And when you raise the tower, the gym pole is the most important thing, I think, for me, that you've got it quite tight. You can see we've got some basic... This isn't set up perfectly symmetrical. This is just, like I say, a bit of a bodge I did back in the day, but it, it will work. The gym pole... Well, the bracket's got two, ho two uh, holes drilled in it. It's not perfectly aligned, uh, but as a tower with the winch down there, uh, the winch is down near the oil tank. The, uh, that's kind of a bracket that I'll set the whole thing to when it's up. So, yeah, we're going to put it up now, and that'll be the next part. Peace.